Hello, this is Daniel from Sendance Couch. In this video I'm going to test a whole array of PS5 games and what they sound like when using the new Dolby Atmos audio output mode. And I'm also rating them on how great these games deliver 3D sound, so that you know which games to try first when you update to the latest PS5 firmware as well. With the brand new firmware, Sony finally supports Dolby Atmos output for soundbars and home theater systems. I talked about it and ran through the installation process in my last video, if you would like to check it out as well. The link is in the description. A good amount of PS5 games use Sony's own developed Tempest 3D Audio tech to deliver 3D audio. With the new firmware, the Tempest 3D Audio can be translated to Dolby Atmos so that we can finally use 3D sound outside of headphones and TV speakers, which makes a huge difference, even more than I expected. The new Dolby Atmos output mode works well on soundbars and TVs that support this audio standard. But you will only get the most out of Dolby Atmos when you have a real multi-speaker setup in an AV surround receiver. This is my setup that I have in my living room. It consists out of 5 monitor audio main speakers, an SVS subwoofer and 2 pairs of ceiling speakers. Paired up together with my OnQ RZ50 Dolby Atmos AV receiver, it forms a 5.1.4 surround sound system. Dolby Atmos uses all available speakers to form a virtual dome-shaped audio stage around your seating position. Atmos literally stands for Auditory Atmosphere, and objects that make sound on screen can literally be positioned all around you and above you. Surround sound in general, in movies and TV shows, is a lot of fun. You feel like being in a theater. But having surround sounds in games, where you are interactively changing the environment by playing, is even more immersing. I have been playing with surround sound systems since the birth of surround sound in video games, as there is for example Jurassic Park for the Super Nintendo. Just like the graphics advanced over the past decades, the sound has changed just as dramatically and to have top-notch graphics paired up with top-notch sound is the best experience you can have at home. I am glad to see that since the announcement from Sony supporting Dolby Atmos with the PS5, it sparks interest in many more gamers now wanting to play in surround sound and to own a Dolby Atmos system themselves. Maybe in the form of a good quality soundbar or a complete AV receiver setup. Now let's check out more games in Dolby Atmos surround sound. Like I said in my past video, I can't really show you surround sound, so instead I will be describing the sound highlights of each game and rate them in the end purely on their sound. I will be mentioning if the height speakers are being used, because those speakers are closing the audio half dome around you. They are not always necessary, but it is nice to have it all supported. Also, this is my personal opinion formed on my high-tech system, so your personal impressions might vary. The Callisto Protocol This game already sounds like a Hollywood movie when playing in regular surround sound. But Dolby Atmos pushes the sound another notch up. Super heavy bass, hums, horror movie-like scenes are very dynamic and you can locate each sound in the environment even easier. Events like the sliding door opening is a sound effect placed depending where you look. If you look down and the door opens, you hear it open up in your ceiling speakers. Or in this scene, where the ship is about to crash, fire, wind and objects are flying around you, including the height channels. Jacob, get up here! I really enjoyed this game despite its low commercial success and the extra Dolby Atmos sound makes it even more fun. Call of Duty Vanguard Very powerful and impactful right from the start. Every shot packs a punch. And in this scene, you can hear from which direction a zombie approaches. Or in campaign, where the sound stage is wider than a normal surround sound, and you hear distant noises like explosions and people talking. I cannot hear support for the high channels, 
but the guns are super punchy, deeper growling bass, and everything just sounds like everything is better mixed compared to the regular surround sound. Ghost Runner. The sound already being really good at pushing your adrenaline, the sound in Atmos really pushes you forward now. I'm in a prison. I can calibrate only your basic protocols from in here. Unfortunately, I can't hear any support for the heights here. Like this turbine is not above you, even when you look down with your character. No big deal though, and a fun game to play in Dolby Atmos with its driving soundtrack. This is bad. You'll have to fight your way out of here. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. In this title, we have the sound effects being a star. It turned up everything up a notch, with glass crashing around us when breaking a wall of windows. And the tires making sound on the ground creates an echo. Before Atmos, it was more separated. Now the sound sounds like more environmental all around us. No height speaker support though, but it sounds fine without it too. Death Stranding, Director's Cut. In this scene, the snow blows around you and every effect is placed well in the scene. No storm in the height channels, but the rest of the speakers create a believable sound environment. If you ever wanted to take a shower with Sam Bridges though, I must disappoint you. No shower splashing are coming from the height speakers. Ratchet and Clank rift apart. Sound effects are very locatable and the developer thought of delivering a constant environmental effects throughout every single speaker. Insomniac games showing again how good they are at making their games not only graphical great but also with audio mixing. God of War, Ragnarok. A game with lots of environmental sounds. It fully utilizes 3D audio, and like in this scene, if you jump, Kratos' son will jump, and you hear it over the height speaker's mid-jump. You can also hear the waterfalls in this level in every speaker, depending where your camera is positioned. So cool and three-dimensional. Tetris effect connected. A beautiful Tetris game, which is even more amazing in VR. The sound stage is wider in Dolby Atmos, but surprisingly no use of the height speakers, no matter how crazy the effects get on screen. Still good though. Dirt 5. This game surprised me the most. Starting your first race, you hear everything around you in every little details. You can hear the music swing around you depending where the festival stage is. It reminds me of how Forza 5 on the Xbox Series consoles handles Dolby Atmos as well. You feel like you are sitting in the sound dome of Atmos and once in a while you even hear a helicopter fly over your heads. A very cool experience. Spider-Man Remastered the sound effects are very clear and separated as well as being placed tighter around you. Unfortunately I could not hear any support for ceiling firing speakers in this game, at least during my time with the game. Spider-Man Miles Morales Just like the experience I had with Spider-Man Remastered, Miles Morales doesn't seem to use height speakers. I would have liked to hear the manhole cover swing around me when I toss it around. The sound is very good, 
but not as spectacular as you would expect since the graphics are always top notch in the Spider Man games. Immortals Phoenix Rising. Such a fun game that didn't get enough attention when it was released. The soundtrack is beautiful. Now in Dolby Atmos, we have atmospheric effects like rain and thunder coming down on us through the seating speakers. The whole soundstage is big and draws you into the scene. The Last of Us Part 1 One of my favorite games of all time and it did not disappoint in Dolby Atmos either. Clickers echoes bounce off the ceiling, environmental effects like wind and water splashing, footsteps at the right height where your enemy walks next to you or a story above you. This definitely makes you feel being right inside this game. The Last of Us Part 2 Not being a native PS5 game and still running PS4 code, could put this part into a disadvantage, but to my surprise I get full Dolby Atmos sound here too, including the height speakers. I hear wind in this level all above me while the main characters are chatting. That's what Atmos was made for, create an atmosphere and it really works out. And when enemies attack you, it is quite shocking. Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection Just like with The Last of Us, you hear in this level everything as a broad environmental scene. Mm. Birds in the heights and crickets. Well, nah, nothing worthwhile. Still a better atmospheric experience than playing it without Dolby Atmos. Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut Being a very environmental game by itself, it hits you so differently in Atmos. I can hear the waving flags in my height speakers, the fire and the chatter very well positioned when turning the in-game camera around, and the waterfalls big from top to bottom of the scene. And yes, you can locate the golden bird showing you secrets better. One of the best atmospheres I have heard so far in a PS5 game. No Man's Sky. The game definitely uses the height speakers, but not constantly. The atmospheric sound is presented very convincing and seems more real when playing with surround sound. Resident Evil 4. Capcom didn't only deliver a great looking game, their sound department is up to the latest technology too. In this scene you hear rocks breaking and falling down from the high speakers. The enemies are locatable and the whole scene becomes even more urgent than before. Resident Evil Village same engine as Resident Evil 4, but older of course. Though this title is supposed to have Tempest 3D audio, I could not hear the tree looking arms above my head speakers, which would have been a good option. But it does sound just as good as regular surround sound, just not Atmos. Sackboy, a big adventure. Lots of use of the height channels here, jumping out of the entrance level circle, kicking enemies, bubbles popping, gear spinning, all up above as the rest of the sound effects are placed around your seating position. Makes you sit right in the middle of the cute game. I am enjoying it. Astro's Playroom One of the first games we got to play on the PS5. It still holds up amazingly well. Overhead effects are not often used, but for example in this scene, 
The birds are flying over Astro's head. The sound is coming through my ceiling speakers, making you think the birds are actually flying above your own head. In this level, you can hear the enemies fly across the room when you kick them, or the helicopter enemy flying all around you. The wind blowing all around you is a nice sound effect as well. Not everything was thought of though during the sound design of this game. Like I expected the rain in this level coming from the ceiling speakers, but it doesn't. Demon Souls Looking at crows above me, but no sound coming from the height speakers. All in together a good sounding game, but not the best 3D sound in my opinion. Gran Turismo 7 Having surround sound in a racing game is extra helpful, because you can actually hear cars that are behind you that you might have not visually noticed yet. And now with Dolby Atmos, you can actually hear the rain pouring on top of the car when racing in wet conditions. Really cool. Horizon Forbidden West Full 3D audio support here as I can hear birds, the wind and rain coming from above and all around me. Very well done. A very good example on how to use the Tempest 3D audio system being translated to Dolby Atmos. Final Fantasy 16 This game also uses every speaker in my sound setup. Birds and wind noises up on top and even the water well can be heard in all dimensions depending where you put the camera. A fun game with good sound. Returnal Instantly I feel like being inside the game and yes, in this title we have ceiling speaker support with rain and thunder coming straight down on us. Very cool as you can also hear echoes reflecting from walls as you run and shoot your way around. Now what about VR gaming? VR games use the 3D Tempest audio tech as well. Let's find out if this also translates into Dolby Atmos while wearing the headset. Horizon VR – Call of the Mountain I fired up the game in VR and there we are, right in the middle of everything, visually in VR and now in audio as well. I can hear the wind, the waterfalls rush around and above me and the water drops are literally coming from the ceiling, falling down to the ground. Great news, especially since I don't always like wearing headphones while playing in VR. I'd rather have my surround sound system running while wearing my VR2 headset. So, so there you have it. That's what you can expect from these great games when you put them into Dolby Atmos mode. I can recommend these titles for you to try out first since they surprised me the most in how wide the soundstage became after enabling Atmos. To conclude my time with PS5's Dolby Atmos. Just like Hollywood movies or TV shows, the soundtrack and surround sound quality varies by whoever makes the sound in each game. Not every movie sounds amazing, and the same goes for games as well. It will also be interesting to see if PS5 games soon support Dolby Atmos directly, or if developers will keep on using Sony's Tempest 3D audio tech, which converts on the fly to the Dolby Atmos format on the console. I'm very happy with the new surround sound option, and the sound and music sounds even better than I had hoped. Even if a game didn't support all speakers, like the height speakers, the sound has literally more punch to it. You can try it out yourself once you have the firmware update. You can change the sound on the fly without having to exit a game. Just pause, go to the PS5 settings, and you can change Dolby Atmos back to PCM or the other way around on the fly. How about you? Do you plan to get a surround sound system yourself or are you going to stick to headphone surround sound? Let me know in the comments of this video. I hope this video was insightful and made you excited for the new features coming to PlayStation 5. Please consider liking and subscribing to this channel if you would like to see more of my videos, cool tech reviews and games. It really helps me to make more content for you in the future. Until then, I will see you next time on Sam Dan's Couch.